Welcome back to the math review. In these questions, we need to state the value for each of the points on our number lines. So let's start with point A. Remember that on the negative part of the number line, the numbers count away from zero going to the left. So the first thing we should do is fill in any blank values that we have. Here, this is negative eight, and this is negative 10. So what integer do you think will go after negative 8, but before negative 10? Well, that would be negative 9. So we've got negative 8, negative 9, negative 10, and we'll keep that pattern going. So the next value will be negative 11, followed by negative 12, which means this here would be negative 13 followed by negative 14 then negative 15 then negative 16 then negative 17 then negative 18 then negative you guessed it negative 19 followed by negative 20. And the negative numbers will go on forever and ever in that direction. That's what this arrow means. So now that we have our missing values filled in, let's answer the question being asked. So what is the value for point A? Well, that's negative 17. And for B, it's negative nine. And for C, it's negative 13. So now let's go to the next number line. Remember, zero is the most important integer that there is because it separates the positive values that go to the right and the negative values that go to the left. So since we have zero here, we can use that as a really good starting point. And we have all these dashes between zero and four. So what do you think each of these will be? Well, we can't count by fives, that's way too big. We can't count by fours because four is right here. We can't count by threes. If we tried twos, it would be zero, two, and four would be here. So the only value that works is going by ones. So that means this mark here is positive one, because remember, the positive numbers count away from zero to the right. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which means this here would be 10, followed by 11 and 12. The key thing is to make sure that after you fill everything in, that it makes total sense. And since we're going by ones, when we go to the left, we're counting the negatives and we're counting away to the left. So this is zero and after that would be negative one. Followed by negative two, negative three, and finally negative four. So now that we know our missing values, let's fill in the values we're being asked for. So for X, the value is negative two. For Y, the value is negative one. And for Z, the value is positive 10. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on the math review.